What is going on, guys? Welcome to Stock Talk with Nico Criticos. Today, we're going to take a look at one of my favorite stocks, and that is going to be Texas Roadhouse. And looking back, as you can see, about a year ago, I was buying this stock at $95 a share. And then earlier this year, just a couple months later, I was selling out at $128, $129 a share. And today, the stock is now at $194. So in the last year, this stock's up 74%. That's about how much money I would have made if I would have kept my shares. But instead, I was selling out right about here at 129 a share. So this one is kind of sad, but that's all right. This company, this stock will trade down again to a cheaper valuation, and then I can get back into it. So let's get started with Texas Roadhouse. We got a $13 billion company. We're looking at amazing financial graphs here. Revenue over the last five to 10 years is consistent. It grows at 12 or 13% per year. Same thing with net income. Free cash flow is a little bit more up and down, but the, the consistency and profitability is spot on. 14% per year, they're growing. They did 300 million last year. And then the growth in dividends is also phenomenal. The cash and debt ratio is not bad. I mean, obviously, so there's no debt, which is the good part. They only have 100 million in cash, but this is a little bit different of a business model where they're leasing out their restaurants. And so it's more understandable, but all these other things look good. Shares outstanding, not going crazy. Return on capital employed, 17% is strong. So that's why I pretty much like everything about this. The analysts have them doing $6.38, which is a huge jump off of last year's earnings. That's why the stock's up so much. And then next year, there's still a good amount of growth expected to come to $7.14. Revenue growth, we have 15% expected this year, 9% next year, still not bad at all. Keep in mind, this is just a restaurant steakhouse business. So those are not bad growth numbers at all. But if we wanna see whether or not this stock should be getting sold off right now, whether or not it should be getting bought up, we gotta look at the P ratio. And as you can see, it's at 33 times earnings right now. So it's very rich considering it was at 19, just two and a half years ago. So, and you can see before this, when before there was all that volatility, in from 2016 to 2020, this stock pretty much traded about 25, right? It traded down to 19 and then it traded up to 29, but generally it likes to hang out at about 25. And then same thing these last couple of years, definitely you could tell right here, it was definitely undervalued because we were in a big correction. And right now you can tell we're definitely overvalued because the market is definitely kind of overbought right now. So again, 25 is right in the middle. That's where that's the fair valuation. So does that mean you want to buy at 25? Maybe just if you're buying at 25 times earnings, expect you should be expecting it to come down at some point. And that's why you shouldn't make a giant position. If you if you really want to buy in at 25 times, just make it a small position because it's most likely going to come back down. Now, I could have said that a year ago right? When it was at 26, 27 times, that's probably what I was thinking, honestly, when I sold it. And look what happened now. The market got so much cash flooded into it, it traded up to 33 times. So that's possible too. But I mean, it's better to be safe than sorry. Let's say you only invest. I mean, in my case, I probably, the lesson you learn after you sell out early, too early, and you lose out on making more money is you just learn to not sell out of your entire position. You sell a fraction, you sell a a fourth of it, a third of it, or half of it, something like that. And then you keep more, you keep most of your shares, you keep half your shares or whatever, and let it ride up, right? And then if it falls, okay, well, then you buy back the shares that you just sold. So it that's just a healthier way to do it. It just makes more sense. So 25 times is probably fair valuation. So you want to buy it under that. And then the cheaper you get it, the more money you'll make. So in other words, for next year, the stock should be worth $178. And that's the scary thing is look what we're trading at right now. So really right now, the stock should be at 157, right? It should be at 157 right now. That's how rich we're trading right now. So this stock will probably come down. And then for me to buy it, I would like to buy it at, let's see, fair valuation of 178. So I definitely would want to buy it under 178. That would be my idea going for. I would like to buy it at like 160. If I can get it at 150, 140, then that's that's great. I'm, I'm going to feel a lot safer if that's the case, but I will be happy to buy it probably at 160 or so. 
Um, they're just, it's a solid company, solid earning, solid growth. And these places are always packed. Every location you ever go to, they're almost always a huge two hour wait, especially on the weekends. So it's just a great business all the way around. And it's a great performing stock. So that is my analysis for Texas Roadhouse. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.